Hey there, celebrity enthusiasts. Ever had that moment when celebrity news just blows your mind? Well, brace yourself because today's about Lisa Hochstein, and trust me, it's juicy. Want to know all the behind-the-scenes secrets? Stick around, you won't want to miss this. Oh, and if you're here for all the hot celeb stories, hit that bell and jump on board with Celebrity Pop. Let's get into it. Now, if you've been keeping an ear to the ground, you've likely heard snippets about her recent move out of Lenny's famed Miami mansion. But trust us when we say there's more to it than meets the eye. Lisa Hochstein, well known for gracing our screens in The Real Housewives of Miami, was recently served a rather bitter pill to swallow. Sources close to the Miami celebrity circles have shared an exclusive scoop with Page Six, and it paints a tense picture of the move. Let's set the scene. The stunning Miami Beach estate on Star Island, a place where many would dream of calling home. But as of last week, this sprawling paradise ceased to be Lisa's abode, courtesy of a court order. It seems straightforward, doesn't it? But hold on to your hats because the move was anything but. What was expected to be a routine relocation took a sharp turn into the realm of the unexpected when, as sources recount, Lenny Hochstein decided to make a surprise appearance. Now, while it might be common to supervise a move, the manner in which Lenny went about it, sources reveal, was rather awkward and chaotic. Imagine having to shuffle your belongings, keep a check on the packing, and on top of that, manage the sudden, unanticipated presence of someone who, let's just say, wasn't making things any easier. It's been remarked by insiders that Lenny's interference wasn't just a mild oversight, but a deliberate attempt to monitor Lisa's every move. The atmosphere was electric with tension. To quote an insider, he made the move really uncomfortable. She was trying to do her best to get everything done. And the twist, this famed plastic surgeon, instead of focusing on his usual duties, chose this particular day to be present, arguably making the situation more tense. But here's the part that genuinely raises eyebrows. Amidst this high drama relocation, the couple's two children, Ellen Logan, were right there, witnessing the spectacle unfold, home from school and caught in the crossfire of their parents' intense exchange. It's said that Lenny didn't exactly put on his best behavior, treating Lisa horribly in front of their children. Now, it's no secret that there's tension in the air. After all, having someone breathe down your neck isn't precisely what you'd envision for a relaxing day at home. Sources close to the situation hint that Lenny, commonly referred to as the boob god, played a rather contentious role. Imagine an argument escalating to the point where he believed Lisa might have taken some items from the residence. And the dispute, not something trivial, mind you, but potentially valuable assets. The tension climaxed when Lenny reached out to the police. Terms like trailer were thrown around and accusations flew thick and fast. Now, if you thought the story ended there, think again. Remember that Lenny and Lisa seemed on the verge of settling their divorce in early July. It was the light at the end of a tumultuous tunnel. But wait, there's a twist. Lenny, in a surprise move in mid-August, decided to withdraw the earlier settlement. This isn't just about money or assets. It's about emotions, pride, and perhaps a little bit of strategy. And just to sprinkle a bit more suspense, Lenny, being the enigmatic figure he is, hinted at expressing himself more expansively in court rather than through media soundbites. To cap it off, there's an intriguing aura of confidentiality surrounding their initial settlement. Lenny is pretty insistent on keeping those details under wraps. One might wonder, what secrets or compromises does that document hold? It seems that the real story is not just about new beginnings for Lisa, but a winding road of accusations, challenges, and emotional revelations. Amidst a backdrop of soaring skylines and Miami's sun-kissed beaches, a source close to the estranged couple revealed that Lenny might be playing hardball. They allege that he's trying to corner Lisa into accepting a deal that may not be in her best interests, capitalizing on a prenuptial agreement that she had signed prior to their matrimonial vows. The intrigue thickens with suggestions that Lenny might be flexing his financial muscles, hinting at a potentially protracted legal skirmish that could see Lisa facing financial strain. But wait, there's more. While the ink hasn't dried on their separation papers, Lenny seems to be moving at breakneck speed towards the next chapter of his life. The recent announcement of his engagement to the 28-year-old Mazeppa was enough to raise eyebrows, but it was Lisa's sardonic congratulatory note on her Instagram story that really set tongues wagging. A subtle jab, it was clear she wasn't about to send them a bouquet of roses anytime soon. Congrats to my current husband and his mistress on their engagement, Lisa wrote via her Instagram story when the couple announced their betrothal on social media. Lenny, on the other hand, didn't take Lisa's comment lying down. Taking a moment away from his new chapter with Mazeppa, he candidly voiced his thoughts to Us Weekly, casting Lisa in a rather unfavorable light. He rebuffed any notions of Lisa playing the victim card, 
stating that he had made his intentions clear about wanting a divorce and exploring new horizons. In a rather strongly worded assertion, he painted Lisa as self-centered, with his major gripe being her alleged insensitivity not just towards him, but also towards their children. Now, quick pause, friends. If you're loving these tidbits and want more, don't forget to subscribe to Celebrity Pop. Let's keep the fun rolling together. Now, Lisa's left the Grand Star Island mansion behind. You remember the one she shared with Lenny, and now she's opted for a huge condo in Miami Beach. And when I say huge, I mean a whopping 5,586 square feet. The price? A cool $32,000 a month. Yeah, it's a bit jaw-dropping. Imagine strolling in and being greeted by sky-high 10-foot ceilings and windows that let all that lovely Miami sunshine pour right in. Views for days, my friends. And get this, her condo has its own special elevator. That's some top-level privacy. For those cozy evenings, Lisa and her new boo have this massive balcony with its very own hot tub. <laughs> Talk about luxury date nights. Now for the chefs out there, her kitchen is top-notch. We're talking about big league appliances from Sub-Zero and Wolf. And fashionistas, brace yourselves, the closets in her bedrooms, they're the size of small rooms. Given Lisa's wardrobe, she's probably filling them up quickly. Lisa Hochstein's new condo isn't just any condo. It's got some top-notch features. Imagine living right on the beach with service ready anytime. And for those who like to work out, or just like me who try to, there's a fitness center right there. And after that workout, there's a spa to relax in. Even better, a calm and peaceful zen park to clear your mind. It's like having a mini vacation spot right at home. Now, big shout out to Kasanas for capturing the condo in photos and to realtor Tatiana Volpini Everett for helping Lisa get this place. But here's where things get uh, interesting. Lisa got the condo and it was empty. No furniture, nothing. And this has become a big talking point between her and the plastic surgeon. From what we've heard, he's paying up to $17,000 every month for it. And here's where the confusion is. He thinks Lisa got the place with all the furniture, while Lisa says it was empty. Lenny, not one to just let it go, wants a list of everything in the condo, and he's not stopping there. He's even checking with the movers Lisa used. Let's just say the plot thickens, and we're all here for this unfolding drama. Now, there's been another whirlwind turn of events, and it appears the drama has been dialed up a notch between Lisa and her soon-to-be ex, Lenny. Lisa, it seems, has decided to make her own mark in her new abode, relocating some of the bedroom sets specifically for their little ones, Elle and Logan. A sensible move, one might say, ensuring a bit of continuity and familiarity for the kids during what must be a turbulent time, but not everyone saw it that way. A source close to the scenario whispered to page 6 that Lenny wasn't exactly the pillar of support during Lisa's move. Despite what might be expected during a delicate phase, it's alleged he added an extra layer of awkwardness to the proceedings, casting a shadow over the move with his less than cheerful demeanor. Then, in a move that might have raised even more than a few eyebrows, Lenny's new partner in crime, the 28-year-old Katarina Mazepa, promptly set up camp in the Hochstein estate. Now, Lisa has raised the stakes by putting forward a bold claim, that Lenny's relationship with Katarina isn't as innocent as it appears, implying that it might have begun well before their own love story reached its final chapter. However, Lenny, standing firm in his corner, refutes any allegations of being unfaithful. As we await further developments in this tumultuous tale, let's not forget to be in the loop with all things celebrity. Want to be the first to know as the plot thickens? For a sprinkle of drama and a dash of sass, ensure you're locked into Celebrity Pop. Give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget the notifications bell. Dive into this drama with us, and remember, everyone loves a bit of celebrity tea served piping hot.